This tiny light is the Loom Cube Panel Mini LED. It's a pocket-sized bi-color light that's perfect for living on your camera or if you just need an accent light in wherever you're filming. Now, you may have heard of Loom Cube before because of these tiny lights that they make, really small, square kind of lights, but they've also made panels recently, bigger panels, and then this, this smaller panel. So let's take a look at what comes with the Panel Mini for about 60 bucks US. So in the box, you basically just get the light, a piece of diffusion. It's like a rubber bit there that allows you to soften the light. And then you get a cold shoe adapter. So if you want to attach it directly onto your camera, you can, because there are quarter 20 threads on the bottom and side and a USB-C to USB-A charging cable. Let's jump into some of the features and how you use it. To turn it on, just hold the power button for three seconds and to turn it off, same thing. Hold it three seconds and it turns back off. That button also changes between the two different mode selections. So you have white balance and power. Then there's a tiny dial here on the side that lets you adjust it. So if you're jumping up the power, you can use the dial that way, tap it, and then you can change the color temperature from 5600, nice and cool, all the way down to 3200, a nice and warm light. Brightness goes all the way down to 1%, and then it jumps by 5% at a time, all the way up to 100%. And this light is very bright. I'll talk about how bright it is later, but just know that those dials on the side allow you to change color temperature and brightness. And then the only thing on the side there is the USB-C charging port that enables you to plug it in and get it recharged. This thing is very tiny. It's about the size of a credit card in height at about 2.1 inches, width at 3.5 inches, and in thickness, it's a little less than half an inch thick. It also only weighs three ounces. So this is a perfect thing to put a few of them in your pocket or just throw a few in your bag if you need some additional lights when you're out and about. And since it's made of aluminum, it's gonna be sturdy and strong and it shouldn't break on you. This thing is also very bright, like I said. So if you turn it all the way up to 100%, that's 550 lux at about a half a meter. Now their other panel, the bigger one, is about three times as bright, but it also costs three times as much. So this thing is putting out a lot of light and if you diffused it a little bit using their built-in diffuser, which I'll show you in a second, or in another way, you can be sure that you're gonna get a good amount of output for something this size. There are actually 60 individual LED lights in here that are by color so they're going from the cooler temperature to the warmer temperature, but you can see there's already a frosted plate on here that is making it softer, and then if you add in the diffusion, the light just basically becomes one really big source. This light's also really smart. It enables you to see how much battery life you have left when you're making it brighter or darker. So let's take a look at it right here. As I change it from 1% brightness to something like 25% brightness, you can see now I have two and a half hours or so of battery left. And I keep going. I'm going to get it under an hour of battery life left going, you know, closer to full power. So you're predicting how long this is going to last, which enables you to know, am I going to have to charge this soon? Or can I just make it a little dimmer and make it last a little longer? This light's also really versatile in that you can mount it in a few ways too. So you can see here on the side, there's a quarter 20 inch thread. There's also one on the bottom and the diffusion has holes. So you can put the diffusion on and then screw into those mounting points, as well as the camera shoe adapter that comes with it. You can put that right on top of your camera if you want, or if you're going to use a multi hot shoe kind of bracket on top of your camera so you can have your mic and a light on there. It's going to work well that way. Or you can put, kind of put it on an articulating arm and attach it to something like the side of a switch pod if you want to do that too. Note, unlike some of Loom Cube's other products, this is not waterproof, so you're not going to be wanting to take this underwater with you, but it will last a long time at that 1% brightness, which for just an accent light, for just a little bit of fill light, it will last 14 hours at 1%. And if you're gonna do full brightness using this as a main light source, you're gonna get a little over an hour, maybe an hour and 15 minutes or so. But if you're gonna use it for a long period of time, I would just bring a USB-C enabled battery bank, attach that to the side, maybe mount it onto your camera somehow, and you can power this for much longer than the built-in battery. Now, I wouldn't use this as my main filming light. I'm gonna be using something that's more powerful and bigger, especially in a more permanent setup like this. But if I'm on the go or I'm traveling somewhere with my gear, this is the kind of thing that I will throw in my bag. And it's great to have as an accent light. So maybe I just need a slight hair light on a subject that has hair. I don't, so take that for what you will. But something like that, mount it out of frame, put it on a shelf, something like that to give some depth to whatever it is I'm filming, have some light hit the side of their face, hit their hair, what have you. Also, you could use it 
just as an accent light. So maybe you're trying to light up something. So if I really wanted to highlight this switch pod here, maybe I'd put this light up behind it. Have a little bit of a glow there so it takes your eye to look at it. That might be another option. So this is just the kind of thing that it can't hurt to have some of these and use them in different fun and interesting ways. Or if your setup is much smaller, you're at your desk, you're vlogging and you want this on top of your camera, this is the perfect size light. It's so lightweight that I would just throw it in my bag because it's not going to get in the way of all the other stuff I'm packing. This thing just launched at $60 US. And if you take a look at their bigger panel, that's about three times as bright. Like I said, it's almost three times the cost. That one's about $150. So depending on your use case and if the size and weight are more important, go with the mini. If you need a bigger light, maybe you're at a desk and you're setting up a live streaming kind of studio and you want that light to be a little bigger, which means it's going to be a little softer and a little bit more flattering on you, maybe get the bigger one. But this is the most powerful and most versatile tiny little light that I've seen on the market, especially for the price at $60. Definitely check it out if you're interested. Links are below. And if you're wanting to learn how to make better videos, consider subscribing to this YouTube channel. I do a lot of gear videos and tutorials as well as check out my website, makebettervideos.com. You'll learn a lot about lighting and audio and filming and editing and all the things you need to make your videos great. I've been Caleb Bojic. Thanks so much for watching. See you another one.